All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grab the judo wrestling. Uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds, fighting out of Bucharest, Romania, Dollar Bill. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, go through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out punch coming it's blocked oh well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage and you saw it right there with that punch well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the count Nice punch by Lee. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. 
unable to connect with a right hook. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's gotta be careful, he's dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Block there. Nice kick. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Come on. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Ooh, what a punch. And he landed the right hand there. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Spinning back fist. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, what a punch. Try to establish that jab. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice leg kick lands. Blocks the shot. Liver kicks. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Big head kick land. Big kick land. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ten seconds to go in the round. Big kick. And they separate. Five minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved back. I think it was defensive brilliant. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of the fit to fight. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked.
right hand upstairs. Nice kick. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Just missed with the left there. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. with that punch. There's no kill on that leg kick. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the hole. Oh, huge leg kick to that lead leg. Oh, big elbow. Right hand on point. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. More work now to that lead leg. Solid leg kick is good. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Block that kick to the body. Oh! Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Great punch, man. So much power. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Missed with that attempt. Right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, wow! Head kick. Big kick land. Straight right hand, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Cut. Right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. 30 seconds to go in round two. <laughs> 20 seconds left to go in round two. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Game of inches right there, boy. It was a good night at that landing. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we do in the gym. We want you to keep your hands up, keep moving your head. 
moving his feet, cut those angles, and let's check. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nonstop. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Big head kick lands. Blocks that strike. Slips the punch. That was lightning fast, that right hand. What a tricky head kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. And continues with the inside leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. And clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Three minutes to go in round three. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick there by Lee. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, huge block. Left hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Nice punch, Lynn. attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Superman punch lands. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice hammer fist. Wow, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Oh, big punch lands. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, 
Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of... Wow! He's going to him up. Go get him. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ouch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee going for the body, missed with that kick. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice. Liver kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Big kick lands. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. to the body by Lee. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Punch over the top. Seconds now to go in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice body kick. Oh, 
Just unable to quite find that ring. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. with that right hand. 20 seconds left. Beautiful strike. Big knee there. Boom! Big jab. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Boom! Straight left hand. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.